It's a combination of faith, hope, and love that brings you two here today. Genuine faith is absolutely essential for the highest happiness in marriage. But ultimately, it's because of love that you stand here today to be united, one with another, in marriage. And perhaps it was romantic love that first attracted you to one another. But sooner or later, we begin to understand that love is more than verses on Valentine's and romance and movies. We begin to know that love is here and now, real and true, the most important thing in our lives. For love is the creator of our fondest memories and the foundation of our greatest dreams. Without love, we merely exist. Kendrick, we're finally to the day we've been waiting for and praying for. And I'm so excited to start this new chapter of our lives together. Over the nine years we've been together, you have shown me love, patience, faithfulness, selflessness, and forgiveness. Dear Hannah, I don't remember when I met you. I've known you my whole life, but had no idea the permanent impact that you would have on me. Despite my flaws, you have loved me, believed in me, and selflessly sacrificed for me in our future. I truly have no clue where or what I would be if it weren't for you. Um, one of my favorite parts of a wedding is seeing the bride, which is stereotypical, I know. But there's something special about seeing the beauty that radiates from a bride. But you know what makes her look absolutely stunning? It's not so much the dress, although yours is gorgeous. It's not the flowers or the decorations. What makes the bride radiate beauty is the fact that everyone here knows that Kendrick chose her to be his forever and that she chose him to be hers forever. As we begin our lives together, I promise to always love you and support you. I will forever be your biggest fan and will always be on your team. I promise to be faithful to you and pray for you. I promise to help you reach your goals, dreams, and desires of your heart. I promise to show you every day the love I have for you and how lucky I am to have you in my life. I promise to spend the rest of my life dedicated to giving you the future that you deserve. I promise to always put our necessities and reputation over my own. I promise to make you smile and laugh as often as possible. I promise to not become complacent and to always push us to grow as one. Marrying you is the greatest honor of my life and I take it very seriously. I love you and will cherish you until I take my last breath. Your husband, Kendrick. I hope one day to have babies with you that we race together to be strong and founded in their love for God. I promise to forgive quickly and love easily, but I promise I'll always strive to be the wife you deserve. I love you, Kendrick, and I'm so excited for our life together. Kendrick, do you take Hannah to be your wife? Do you promise to build together a Christian home under the Lordship of Jesus Christ, providing for her, protecting her, finding your satisfaction and joy only in her, being honest with her and faithful to her? Do you promise to stand by her in sickness and health, in good times and bad, till death alone shall part you? If so, say, I do. I do. Hannah, do you take Kendrick to be your husband? Do you promise to build together a Christian home under the Lordship of Jesus Christ, being an encourager to Him and adapting as needed to be a helper to Him, finding your satisfaction and joy only in Him, 
being honest with him and faithful to him. Do you promise to stand by him in sickness and in health, in good times or bad, till death alone shall part you? If so, say, I do. I was waiting for the moment to arise, waiting for the moment to arise. You have sealed these vials by the giving and receiving of rings. And so acting in authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel by the state of Tennessee, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. All right, it is my distinct honor and privilege to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Kendrick Williams. Kendrick, I'm so happy that you found a person to marry that is just as awesome and ambitious as you are. There's no doubt in my mind that you two are meant to be together for the rest of your days. I pray that God continues to bless your marriage, and I can't wait to see where this crazy life takes you and the beautiful love story that you guys are going to continue on.